It all started when my dad moved to Georgia with his new wife, and I started a new school in the fifth grade. After he left, I ain't had nobody to keep me in line, so my academic scores started dropping. Eventually, after about two years, I got arrested, and I had to face a year of probation. And then I had to go to an alternative school outside of the normal district. So, after that, I realized I had to make a change. I had to keep myself in check and stay on top of myself so that I could keep my grades up and be something in life, and do better for myself. My name is Malaysia. <sighs> I was out of control. It's like once my grandma passed away, I just ain't care no more. And I got pregnant and I, went, I didn't want to bring a child into this world and struggle. So I had to do what I had to do. And once my mom had my baby brother, he inspired me to turn my life around and do, st do things better in life. My goals as I leave OIC is to invest in my money and have my own business, you heard. <laughs> I'm gonna have makeup, bundles, everything for the low, lay God, as you already know. This is my story. Well, it all started when I had moved to my dad's house. It was like 10 brothers and sisters in one house. Felt like I wasn't really, you know, loved or anything. And when I got to school, when, you know, I started doing bad things, you know, it actually felt like I was getting, like, attention. To be honest, I was just heading down like a really bad road. And I believe I was like 11, running like a trash tire room. I went to the office, I was about to get suspended and everything. And my teacher, she wanted to help me out. So me and my teacher, you know, we strategized a plan of using my talents to help people. Drawing goes through my family. We all draw a lot. I'm actually kind of good at it, but I didn't know what to use it for. I wanted to affect kids because they're the future. It all started when I lost my dad at the age of 16, which was last year. Losing my dad was hard for me because he was more like a best friend to me. But losing him helped me realize that I need to accomplish my goal, which is become a, a tattoo artist. Growing up, my mom had tattoos, and that's when I realized that I like tattoos, and that's what I want to become when I'm older. It all started when I was playing basketball. Uh, I was in high school. I got injured. I collapsed on the gym floor because of dehydration. Soon after my injury, I noticed it was no longer starting. Today, I'm taking an interest in uh, business, photography as well. I was able to gain a spot in college, so I used the injury that I gained, that I had in uh, 2016 as a boost of confidence and a, a blessing more than a curse. I got a phone call saying that my grandma was deceased. I didn't know what to do, so I just snapped on everybody. I was like really, like really depressed. But I felt like I lost a, a best friend. I decided to like try to calm down because I felt like my grandma wasn't the one to me to get angry. I want to work with music videos, producer, business owner. Like I, it's a lot of stuff that I plan on like doing. When I was about 10 or 11, People, they would make fun of me because of my height, call me different types of names. And my sister, she would stand up for me instead of me standing up for myself because I was always the quiet, shy person in every grade until now. So I decided to accept the way that I am. Now I see myself either being a pediatrician or a lawyer. It all started back in like, when I was in middle school, multi-athlete, playing three sports. I was playing hockey, basketball, and football. You know, everything changed. I broke my wrist two times. Like, I, I got deep in the streets. I started, started hanging with different people and everything. I started fighting. I just started getting around. People started getting to know me. But then something told me I had to change. And I had to find a way how to get to college. Because that's always been my dream, and that's why I've been pursuing sports. So I started rapping, trying to chase a different career other than being an athlete. bluffing, but my brother's winning. I did the dash from the damn beginning. Did the race trying to be the case by the cop and Hemi just to go and spin it. Getting booked, would you know the feeling? It got me thinking like a damn villain. How the hell I'm going to get a million if I'm out here in these trenches spinning? I don't really think these people get it.